that made no sense. This part of the wrap-up is the one where I had, like, one star to three star. This was the bad part of the month. The first half of the month was real good, and I rated everything super high, and then it all went downhill. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with part two of my May wrap up for 2017. I read a total of 23 books. So if you want to see the first 10 that I read, I will leave my wrap up part one up there if you want to check that out. So without further ado, here are the rest of the books that I read for May. Let us get started. The 13th book that I read in the month of May was Beware That Girl by Teresa Totten. I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. This book follows Katie O'Brien, who will do anything in her power to get to Yale. She doesn't care who she needs to manipulate or lie to in order to get there as long as she gets there. She's moved from private school to private school trying to get away from her past. That's when she meets the beautiful and rich Olivia Sumner. Olivia went through something very traumatic last year that landed her in the hospital and she is in need of a friend now. Olivia and Katie form a friendship that is based on mutual dependency and things seem to be going very well. It is until an older man, the very handsome Mark Redkin, steps into the picture. Olivia falls right into the hands of Mr. Redkin, but Katie sees right through his charming personality and decides that she will stop at nothing in order to get him out of the way of her plan. I found the book to be very predictable. Well, it was obvious when the plot twists were going to take place and what was going to happen. I did really enjoy the dual perspective between Katie and Olivia, but I don't think any of the characters actually developed in any way. All of the characters were very one-dimensional in my opinion, and I didn't really connect with any of them. They were all very stereotypical YA characters that you see in every book, so it was just kind of like, okay, cool, I don't really care. I did really like how the book kind of ended in a cliffhanger, and we don't really know what happened with Katie, Olivia, or Mr. Redkin, and I also really liked how slowly the secrets were revealed. The prologue really drew me in because it starts off very fast-paced, and you don't know what the heck is going on, and everything is so slowly unraveled to the point at the end of the story where you still don't know what's really going on. It made it very interesting. The next book I read was What Happened to Goodbye by Sarah Dessen, and I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. After her parents' divorce, McLean Sweet finds herself moving constantly. She has been to four different schools in the past two years, and every time she moves, McLean decides to reinvent herself in order to fit in. When she arrives at Lakeview and it's time to pick a new identity, she's very surprised that she chooses to be herself instead of one of her alter personas. So now, when she's making new friends and possibly falling for a boy, McLean needs to learn how to accept herself and not run when things get serious. I think overall the book was just average for me. It's not something that will stick with me for a long period of time. I thought it was cute. I liked all the characters. Dave was a total sweetheart. I really loved Opal and Deb. But my main problem was McLean. She kind of fell short for me. I found her to be kind of a bland and boring and just her personality wasn't really anything that I I connected with. I really liked her dad. He was really funny, but her mom drove me insane. I did not enjoy her character at all. One of the things I really love about Sarah Dessen's books is how she includes characters from other books in the story, so you kind of see where they are now, and I just find that super fun. I found the pacing of the book to be a little bit slow for the most part, so it was kind of boring to read. Nothing really happened. I did really like how McLean and her mom's relationship developed as the story went on, but like I said overall it was just an average book for me. The next book I read was Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. This is the second book in the Harry Potter series. If you want to see my reaction of being a 21 year old reading the Harry Potter series for the first time, I'll leave the video up there. But obviously I gave the book a 5 out of 5 stars. I love me some Harry Potter, so... Read Harry Potter if you haven't. You have, obviously, but still. The next book I read for the month of May was Monstrous Beauty by Elizabeth Fama, and I ended up giving this a 4 out of 5 stars. I really liked it. This book follows Serenka, who is a beautiful mermaid who falls in love with a mortal man named Ezra, risking everything. She decides to take the chance to become mortal herself. Unfortunately, this has a lot of consequences. 140 years later, a girl named Hester Goodwin has a cursed family. The curse makes every female in the family die after giving birth to a child. Hester has decided in order to break her family curse that she will remain childless and never fall in love. 
That is, until she meets a man named Ezra. I really loved this book. I thought it was so entertaining and such a cool look at sea folk because we usually get the Disney version. Where it's all sunshine and butterflies, mermaids are so nice. But these mermaids were like evil and wanted to eat people and destroy everything and it was just like, yes, killer mermaids. I loved how the book was told in two different time periods, 1873 and present day. I thought that was very interesting and it was very easily distinguishable between the two time periods based off of the writing style. I really liked how the two timelines were very interwoven and in the end the conclusion brought both timelines together and the story was just so well put together. I didn't find the pacing to be too fast or too slow at any time. I really loved Soronka and Ezra as characters. Linny and the pastor were one of my favorites as well. The only character I didn't really care for was Hester, which is why I only gave it a 4 out of 5 stars, because she was a huge part of the story, so if I had liked her a little bit more, then it would have probably been a 5 out of 5 stars for me. The next book I read was Zodiac by Ramina Russell, and I ended up giving this a 3 out of 5 stars. Which I was really bummed about because I wanted to give it a lot higher rating because I wanted to like it because the cover is so nice, I love it, but it kind of fell short for me. This book follows Roma Grace, who is a 16-year-old in the House Cancer, one of the 12 Zodiac houses in the galaxy. When an attack on House Cancer causes their three moons to collide and their guardian to die, Roma is very surprised when she is named the next guardian. By reading the stars, Roma discovers a bad omen in the galaxy. The 13th house of Zodiac, which was exiled, is coming back in order to attack all the houses. No one believes her warnings and now Ro needs to try to stop the 13th house in order to save the galaxy. The concept of the book was very intriguing to me. I thought it sounded super interesting but as I said it fell short for me. I think that the world building of this book was very well done. The imagery was awesome. It made it very easy to imagine the different houses and what they looked like. I feel that the book was a bit info dumpy at times though, which made it kind of hard to read for me. Also didn't really like any of the characters. Ro really bothered me. Yeah, she focused more on her little love triangle than like, I don't know, like saving the galaxy maybe because that's your job as the guardian, but like that's just me. I hated the love triangle and the insta love and I would have liked it a lot better if it just didn't exist or if there was only one love interest. I thought that Matthias, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but he was very and boring. I did like the other love interest, Hi Sam. The only other character I liked was the villain. I'm not even going to try to say his name because it is too complicated, but he was pretty cool. Alright guys, so that was part two of my May wrap up for 2017. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!